minute. It's the burger for me, okay? It's the burger. What? Don't you open up that window. Hi. Okay. Don't you air at that antidote. Yeah, yeah. Popping pills is all we know. And I, oh. Okay, yeah, so let me stop. So, Travis Scott. Oh, Travis Scott. <laughs> Travis Scott. <laughs> Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Travis Scott meal comes with your medium fries. Oh, they didn't fill this up though. Okay. Okay. And then um, we're going to do He Loves Sprite. So we got Sprite. And it's great because I love Sprite too. And yeah. So yeah. And honestly, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't really eat McDonald's that much. But it comes with a quarter pounder with cheese. Okay. Let's check that out. Yo. And some barbecue sauce. So chill, chill, chill. That's actually really, it, 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 it sounds really good. So. All right. So let's get this show on the road. Let's try this out. I had to wake up hella early. And um, I knew that McDonald's has a lot of calories, so I knew I couldn't risk um, eating this. So I woke up really early. I did an hour-long cardio workout just to eat this Travis Scott. So we got to try what you eat every day, okay? Let's see. Mmm. You got the bacon? Mm-hmm. Mmm, bacon, pickles, cheese. Mmm, I like it. And I guess, I don't need barbecue sauce, but for him, for Travis, we're gonna do it. It's the, it's the burger for me, okay? It's the burger for me. <laughs> Who else has been watching that on TikTok? It's the blank for me, but yeah. Okay, so. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Woohoo! What? On it. Uh, Honestly, as soon as I tried that barbecue sauce with these fries. Mmm. Wait a minute. See, what I forgot to mention. This is tang. Oh. <laughs> this is tangy barbecue sauce. Wait. Wait. He's onto something. He's onto something. Wow. Um, okay, I lied. I'm a barbecue sauce fan now, for sure, for sure. Wow, that was really good. Okay, McDonald's, y'all gotta keep this in your uh, menu. So now, I wanna try the barbecue sauce with the burger. He's onto something because this is just, okay, let's do it. I dipped it in there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Y'all really gotta get this. This is so good. That tanginess from the barbecue sauce. Mmm. And no, I'm not just hungry because I worked out like crazy, but this is the perfect lunch right now. Mm. For the first time in my life, I legit do not need ketchup. Wow. This is so good. Mmm. Mm, 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 
It's so crazy. I don't know if you guys have this, but whenever something is so good, when you eat something like amazing, I zone out. It's like I go into like another world. Oh my God, it's so weird. Like this is like that other world that I'm in right now. Which, what does he call it? Astro world. Mmm. <laughs> Family! Travis. I'm so glad you put me on this. Tangy barbecue sauce. It's the barbecue sauce for me. <laughs> Woo! Mmm. Mmm. Oh! I didn't know there's mustard in here, too. Okay, okay. There was a time when I really wanted to go to one of his concerts, you know. But, I don't know why I never, like, really went. Like, maybe, you know, when this whole COVID thing is over. Uh, I gotta go to one of his concerts. And I heard that they're, or I've seen on YouTube that they're, like, hella lit. Like, super lit. So. Mmm. Did they give me two barbecue sauce? Mm. They gave me two barbecue sauces. Just when I thought, look how much I used. Mine is already running out. Just when we thought it was over. The only thing was, I guess, like, I looked online and I was thinking that I would get a toy. <laughs> that I'd get a toy with it, but I guess not, so. But hey, you know, maybe next time if he does, like, collab, we'll, hopefully he'll add a toy for, like, the kids, or me, the adult kids. Mmm, <laughs> but this is fire. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even know this came out until um, Kylie Jenner had posted it. Because it's funny, I went to McDonald's. I'm like, I'm not sure if the line is long because of this new Travis Scott meal. So I'm like, there is a line because it's just McDonald's. But, hmm. My burger is officially finished. <laughs> I should have got like two apple pies. I usually get two apple pies with my order, but you know. Guys, this is fire. And I would be listening to uh, Travis Scott songs and telling, I wanted to do a, like a playlist with it and listening to Travis Scott songs with it, but I didn't because my my channel was copyright stricken. <coughs> or is that the word? It had its copyright, so. I guess now you can't like really play any music. Um, I really don't want to have to work around that. And by the way, if you're on TikTok, don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Vicky Cupcake. Super fun. I love TikTok. Um, I'm thinking of a uh, putting more eating shows on that. What do y'all think? But yeah. I was not too I didn't want to think highly of this meal, but honestly, 
this meal i'm not gonna lie it made my day <laughs> and i think a lot differently about barbecue sauce now because this tangy barbecue sauce is fire i wasn't i told myself i'm like i'm not even gonna try it you know i don't want to try the barbecue sauce i hate barbecue sauce but this tastes like you know when you eat a rack of ribs some juicy juicy ribs with some warm barbecue sauce that's how this tangy sauce tastes and i'm not just hyping it up because it's travis scott like i'm being for real so yeah I'm really happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so crazy because today I um going through drive thru I didn't wanna um roll down my window from all like the fires going around in like California and um it's a scary time. Speaking of which I didn't want to talk about part one of what I think about twenty twenty. All I can say, guys, is don't let fear get to you. Fear is all in your mind. It's all made up. The virus is fear. You know? Um, all these man-made fires are fear. Do the best you can to not go outside right now. Protect your energies. And I really mean that. Protect your energies. Stay inside. Meditate. Do the best you can to listen to your intuition. Become the highest form of yourself. Don't let anybody bring you down. There goes my fries. <laughs> wow, that's probably like a record-breaking meal that I've barely eaten. But I can't stress this enough, guys. Like 2020, um, <laughs> I don't like to speak it into existence to say that 2020 is like really bad. You know, of course, to other people, like you know, looking out. And looking at the events that have occurred, it's gonna be it's gonna be like oh 2020, 2020, blah blah blah. But in reality, you gotta kind of look at it and switch, switch, make a shift. You know, look at it as a year of growth. Now, racism, fear, the virus, all that, all these things already existed. Don't put your energy too much into these things. Focus on yourself. Focus on your family. Focus on growth. How can, what is your purpose in the world? Um, that's the best advice I could give to you. Um, harness your inner power. Harness the energy that you have within. Realize that, you know, God is within you. And um, you are God. And you could do anything you set your mind to. You know, we're all spiritual be beings living a, on a spiritual plane. We can't predict the future. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. But all I do know is you got to surround yourself with love. And I'm not talking about romantic love. I'm talking about self-love, um, godly love. That's really the most you can do right now. Do the most you can do with what you have. And um, whatever purpose you have in the world, you know, fulfill it. It's never too late. <laughs> um, of course, when uh, Kobe Bryant died, may he rest in peace. That's when, right after that, the world just started changing. The world stopped when he died and then with George Floyd's death the world also stopped and you see all these riots and you see everything going on 
you know it's a sad time it is a really sad time but who's to say these things have already been here it's just now being brought to light and I'm happy that these things are being brought to light, you know, racism and um, Black Lives Matter, all of that stuff. That's important to me, too. But, you know, I do want us as people to focus on not too much on the hate and the bad things going on, but focus on the love. Focus on the love that we already have here, you know outshine the bad things with that love radiate radiate love wherever you go and you'll see your world your inner world your outer world start to change it won't happen overnight but it will happen so yeah that's the best advice i have i'm not saying my best advice is the best but yeah i mean focus on love and you know um and love and godly love and you only you and god and that you are god yourself uh i was listening to an expert ex excerpt <laughs> i don't know how if you say it like that but um when you look in the mirror and you look at yourself who are you really looking at you know and then you realize that you're looking at god that you are god um, I do believe yes it's time for change and I think the only way through change is if everybody realizes that that you are God and the only thing God really does and really did and Jesus really did was focus on love and love itself in its pure form um, nothing else so, I mean, for, for the remainder of uh, 2020, you know, I hope that everybody focuses on love because that's all we really have left at the end of the day is, is love. It doesn't matter, like, how many followers you have on Instagram, how many followers you have on TikTok, who's famous, who, who's better, who you think is better than who or... How many likes you you got at the end of the day it's all about love do you love yourself when you look in the mirror do you love yourself do you do you truly feel love for every spiritual being on this planet because every other spiritual be being is a reflection of you a rabbit I see randomly you know at the park is a reflection of me there are spirits on this earth just like me so we have to show everything love and um, I feel like that's how we transform 2020 you know on a serious note so I, I, I just wanted to kind of yes I wanted to try the Travis Scott meal and it's super fire but I kind of woke up with the intention to talk to you guys about it you know about what do I think about 2020 and um, this is what I think of it, you know, it's, uh, stay strong, you know, stay strong in your truth. And we never know how long we have on this planet, you know, even as human beings, we, we don't know the end of the, at the end of the world could be tomorrow, you know? So when you wake, wake up today, hug yourself, practice self love. Hug everybody around you. Hug your family, you know. Hug your pets. Every moment that you have, be in the present. And really think and focus on love. Like, I can't even stress it enough. Um, maybe in a couple videos coming up, I'll talk about it. The transformation that I had, had this whole year by doing so. By focusing on it. Focusing on that high vibration, you know. Um, there's so many things we can look up on YouTube so many videos to help you do that like um, you know music meditation all of that you know or even if it's out going outside and and just breathing in air or staring into the Sun or feeling that warm Sun touch your skin that's that's a way of showing yourself love and even the people around you when you love yourself everybody else 
is gonna love themselves around you too. And you're gonna love being around everybody else that loves themselves too. <laughs> so it's like an unspoken chain of reaction, chain of events that follow, you know? So um, yeah, that's what I think of 2020. And um, yeah, if anything, I feel like something we could learn from this is that and don't let fear cloud your mind. You know, do the best you can do every day. Um, so yeah, I mean, I hope this uh, resonated with somebody out there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, that's really all that I can say. And for everybody out there that's, you know, watches my videos and, you know, um, follows me, subscribes to me, like, and even people that haven't subscribed to me, like, it's cool. Even if you watch, like, two seconds of my videos, like, I really appreciate you guys because this is something I really love doing. I love, I just love, love, love to just have a one-on-one -on -one with you guys and eat food. Like, like I said, when I eat, it takes me on another dimension. It's so weird. Like, I'm so happy. It's probably the happiest I could ever be. <laughs> you know, eating food, you know, since I was little. Just eating my mom's food, any any food, you know, food that tastes good, anything. Um, yeah, you guys make me... You guys are the reason why I'm still alive. You guys are the reason why I still, you know, want to create these videos. And it's not just for, like, views and all that. It's it's to, I guess, if I can give happiness to someone out there, you know, then that makes me happy, you know. Um, yeah, so I just want to say thank you to everybody for the couple years, three years, I think. <laughs> Um, I know I was gone for a little bit too, but thank you for sticking with me and um, I really deeply appreciate you guys so much and you guys will never know how much you guys all mean to me. So um, yeah, I love you guys and um, yeah, let's spread love and let's change the world one by one and um, I love all you guys. So thank you so much for watching this Travis Scott meal thing. <laughs> This was so fun to do. And um, until next time, guys. Love you all. It's Vicky Vicky Cupcake. <laughs> and I am signing out.